I asked my wife if she could go get me a fidget spinner and this is what she got. I don't, it's, I mean, it's sort of, I guess it's a fidget spinner. Sp spin, spin zips. It, it lights up if you spin it fast enough. That's kind of cool. It's not what people think of when they think of fidget spinners. I mean, she married a YouTuber. Has she even seen YouTube Rewind? You know what they say, if you want something done right, do it yourself. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and I bet you're wondering, hey Jazza, what's with all the fidget spinners? Are you doing the fidget spinner art challenge? <laughs> Kinda. I admittedly went overboard with the fidget spinners. I probably don't need this many. I definitely don't need this many. No, what I'm doing today is I'm creating my own color wheel and tone wheel. I'm just gonna cut this out as neat as I can. I'm being a little too perfectionist about this. See, look at that. On the black, it looks, it looks so clean and crisp. Oh, I love when things are symmetrical. Let's cut this one out. There we go. So why the fidget spinners you ask? Because I'm going to masterfully construct my own color wheel that I can spin and is, and well, I mean, I have to attach it, but oh, I'm stupid. The middle bit doesn't spin and that's the raised bit. <laughs> oh, this is a really stupid, complicated way of doing something that should be fairly simple. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blue tack the, this fidget spinner to the table like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna blue tack the color wheel to the fidget spinner. That's the center of the fidget spinner. And then put the center of the, there, there we go. Okay, and then, is it stable? That's not symmetrical! Come on, symmetry, I'm gonna be here all day. This could be like a four hour video without time lapses. How's this? Yeah, close enough. I'm gonna have another fidget spinner layer on top. See where I'm going with this? There we go. So, oh no, that doesn't work at all. If I, if I sit this in there, can I spin that? No, because it's putting the weight on the thing. I'll position this one next to it like that. Ooh, ooh, and then we don't even need like a pointer because wherever they both stop and intersect, that can be the color and the t uh, it's coming together. How's that look? Does that sit? Oh, not symmetrical. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, cool. And now we have. That's amazing! Oh my god! Ah, oh, I'm hip and up with youth culture because fidget spinners are still relevant in 2018. Screw it. Let's use this one. This can be our cheerleader spinner. Now, this can be in the corner and just be like celebrating with us. Whee! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin these three spinners all at once. Uh, this one's irrelevant, but it lights up and that's fun. And wherever these two intersect is where I'm going to make a judgment of a color that I'll use randomly selected, as you can see, for an artwork. Now I'm going to select three colors by spinning it like this. And using these three colors, we're going to create an artwork that themes well with those colors and uh, have a bit of fun with it. And you can do this yourself at home and randomly select things. Isn't that fun? This is fun. We have fun here. All right, let's do it without further delay. Oh my God, this is the most satisfying color selection process I've ever experienced. I feel like I'm on a ride. Whoa. Okay, we're a mid to light yellowy green. <laughs> Got my Copic markers here. Let's find a mid to light yellowy green. I think that's our color, yellow green. There we go. It's time for color picking round two. <laughs> that's like, um, very similar. Mid to light greeny green. Okay, that one's looking pretty good. What's this one? Sha, sha, tur, sha, 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 wait, you guys have corrected me about pronouncing this one before. Oh, that's right, I remember. Because when you guys were all commenting on it, I thought to myself, it reminds me of like a mix of shart and ruse, like kangaroos. So I immediately pictured kangaroos sharting. Shart ruse. <laughs> that's how I remembered how to pronounce that word. Round three. Come on, something other than green. Give us a, give us a, bro ooh, ooh, this is good. Mid to dark, 
blue. Lapis lazuli, I think that would do it. We've got our three colors and I guess I'm done with my fidget spinners. I mean, I know you guys came to watch some art be made, I guess, but I like to think you came for the art and you stayed for the fidget spinners. Let's make some marks on this paper and just see what they go down like. So this is our chartreuse, yellow green. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. They're almost identical. And then we have our lapis lazuli. The two yellowy greens are like literally almost identical. Like seriously could pass as the same color. So this is practically a two color marker challenge. <sighs> All right, let's see how we go. So I started off by sketching out a few ideas. I thought that with such limited colors of such similar values, I'd be better off sticking to either an environment or a character rather than going for both since they might end up meshing together in a sort of bland way. As far as what I would create, you know, I thought this video so far has been pretty topical uh, with current trends of the, the youths of today. Uh, so I thought I'd design a character with that in mind, but even more intensely, a character so hip, so cool and with it, so lit he, that could even, he could be a superhero. A superhero whose power is being lit. And as a well-informed adult, I'm assuming constantly and blindly that lit means cool. Now, after playing with my rough ideas, I move on to a refined sketch, first creating the foundation for the character's pose, and then going through and adding the details in items and clothing that would show people how lit this character truly is. What features you ask? Well, let me tell you. Beats by Dre, for one, Head headphones. Uh, they're not sponsoring this video, but they're definitely, uh, as I'm told by, uh, by ad placements and movies, what uh, hip kid's wearing. Uh, he's got a cap on the wrong way, not backwards or, or sideways, because that's too old fashioned. It's sort of like halfway be between both. Of course, the, the hat still has the sticker on it from when he purchased it, because that's cool. Um, he's got shutter shades. They're less practical, um, but the less practical something is, the, the more cool something is. Um, I guess. Now, of course, he's doing two fidget spinner tricks at once, and you better believe he has fingerless gloves and wrist sweatbands, which were cool when I was a teenager. So they're still prob they're still probably pretty cool now. Right. He's got baggy cargo pants, which uh, of course are so loose they normally hang around his ankles. That's how cool he is, but uh, he's got his leg up uh, in this pose. So he sort of, I guess he hitched him up to put his leg on the boom box, which is the final cool p feature. Because kids these days carry boom boxes while they listen to stuff on their headphones. Man, what a, what a, what a maverick. What, what a renegade. Still pimpin' over here, my G, yeah Hurt your lip from the rear, my G, yeah Cause the flow like a pier, my G Cut cloth clear, yeah, like a shear, my G <laughs> The moment you've all been waiting for. It's Lit Man, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, if there's anything I know a lot about, it's about what kids think is lit. Now this incredible work of art begs one important question. YouTube, can I be in YouTube Rewind yet? I mean, seriously, come on. This is, a, this, even this video could at least account for half of what YouTube Rewind was. I gotta be honest, this was a bit of a challenge. The greens, as you can see, were very similar, just with uh, a slight yellow hue indifference, but really the same value, same tone. So that was pretty tough. And then beyond that, mixing with the blue was difficult too, because anytime I mixed them together, they just sort of looked green. It was hard to sort of create different areas of the picture that stood out from one another. But hey, that's the point of a color challenge is the fact that it's a challenge and uh, using these cool colors, as you can see, I made a pretty cool 
picture. As a reward for your enduring through that whole video, I'm gonna show you some of my cool fidget spinner tricks. You ready? This is what I... <laughs> this is what I call the finger top jump. See? Effortless. This is what I call around the world. This is what I call the lawn mower. Kind of cool. Excuse me, uh, do you have a license to be this lit? Well, I think that's a question that remains to be answered by you. Do you think I'm lit? Vote in the in poll. Seriously, go vote in the card and let me know if you think I'm lit and this piece is lit because I could really use the self esteem boost. I don't know how I'll feel or what I'll do if you guys don't think I am. Um, I guess I'll just have to outlit myself uh, for people to find me cool. If you think I wasn't lit enough, how could this possibly, how could I possibly be more lit in this video? I don't know. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and of course subscribe for more fun with art three times a week. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs> Caught it. Barely trying. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.